has grown from just two acres to between 30 and 40 acres in a matter of hours, and it is now prompting mandatory evacuations. The fire, which is being called the Ptarmigan Fire, is burning just north of Silverthorne, and the Summit County Sheriff says it is unlikely that people will be allowed to return to their homes tonight. Let's get right to Denver 7 Sloan Dickey, who's live on the scene tonight. So what are you seeing at this hour? Yeah, we've seen some mandatory evacuations as well. The Summit County Sheriff's Department has ordered a mandatory evacuation for the Hamilton Creek neighborhood. That is the closest neighborhood to the flames that you see behind me. I'm just going to step out of the frame here so you can see just how quickly these flames can spread. The Tarmigan fire has been burning for about six hours now, and look how big it's grown. The flames were reported around 430 this afternoon. Now at 10 o'clock, it's roughly 40 acres in size and growing. Fire officials only had about two hours hours of daylight to fight the flames with two tankers and a helicopter, but that has ended. Officials say this is a difficult situation. There's lots of dead trees mm -hmm. and foliage up there that will add to the flames. Now, if you live in the area of Hamilton Creek, you are urged to pay attention. An emergency shelter has been set up at Summit Middle School. We spoke with the Red Cross about an hour ago. Here's what they had to say. We've got a setup for an evacuation shelter if people need it. Right now, we've got snacks, we've got water, uh, just in case people stop by. We're prepared for the worst. Uh, we're hoping for the best. And the best in this situation is people have been evacuated, but in the end, their homes aren't impacted by the fire, and they have a safe place to be. Now, officials say this still is a small fire, but it is growing. If you are in the neighborhood surrounding the fire, you are urged to check in on neighbors and reach out to people who might not be in the area. As you just heard, officials hope for the best and prepare for the worst in these situations. And they say if it grows, people will not be able to get back to certain areas tomorrow. This is a developing situation, and we will keep you updated. In Silverthorne, Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.